the Pomodoro technique is you put away all distractions, set a timer for 25 minutes, focus as intently as you can for 25 minutes, uh, you know, realizing that your mind is going to go off track, just bring it back and then reward yourself with a little break for five minutes or so. So what this does is that intense focus gets you kind of locked in on what you're trying to, to do. And then that five minute break allows you a little bit of time to do several things. For one thing, it allows you to get away from that. Um, if you're cognitively fixated on a wrong, in a wrong way of looking at things, that little break will allow you to come back and look at it slightly differently and maybe break you out of that cognitive fixation. But the other thing it can do is as you're learning something, you're, you're, you're sending information to both your hippocampus and your neocortex. Your neocortex is literally scatterbrained. It's, it's like putting information all over the place and it's pretty weak. The hippocampus, it's like the index that knows where everything got put. And the index can learn pretty quickly and get stuff. But when you take that five minute break, what the hippocampus index does is it turns around to the neocortex and says, hey, you know, you know what she said? This is what she said. And here's how to make sense of it. And once you practice these things, and that little five minute break allows you to reinforce what you've been learning. And the great thing about that is that you're not even conscious of it. You, you think you're not doing anything. You're just sipping a cup of tea or whatever, but you, actually behind the scenes, there's a lot going on. And I think that's why people have ignored the dramatic need for a break for so long.